welcome back to my channel. So yes, I do have some new makeup that I have played around with today. I am sorry to have to do this to you again. I am going to try really hard in June not to buy anything because I have gone a little bit wild recently, but I just couldn't resist. I saw that they had released this new palette, Let's Get Nude. Um, obviously it's by Gloss Gods. And as you know, if you're familiar with my channel, it definitely is a brand that's on my radar that I really enjoy. I have enjoyed all of the palettes that I have tried from them so far and they are definitely one of my favorite sort of eyeshadow formulas at the moment especially in the eyeshadow formulas and they're very easy to get because they're only based in Sweden and so shipping is just nice and easy and it doesn't cost me a fortune to get these palettes so all in all I'm very very pleased with the brand itself when this first came out I was like I'm not gonna buy that I'm not buying that palette <laughs> I said to myself I am buying it I already have a, a nude palette and I do not need this palette from Gloss Gods, so I was like, no, I'm not buying it. Week went by, went back, saw the swatches, I was like, fine, I will buy it. And I bought this one, the Gal on Venus as well. They actually had a bundle, you could buy the two of them and get a discount off, so I ended up doing that. Uh, okay, anyway, well. This one is amazing. I mean, I have done a look for you today. Obviously, you can see this one is gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I was not going to buy this one because it came out in December. And I tell you what, I was not going to buy it because it's very warm toned. It has a lot of orange and red and they're just not my jam. But honestly, you have to watch the video, but you know. It was a lot of fun playing with both of these today. Um, I also have some swatches, so we'll do some swatches and then you can see the look that I created today. So yeah, let's get into it. I have to just warn you, I am feeling really, really sick today. So if I'm a little bit off my game, it is because of that. <laughs> into this one I'll put up on the screen the first look that I did because I was gonna do a three looks one palette with this one but then I decided that I don't want to do that so we're gonna do a mix between the two of them because I feel like they definitely complement each other quite a lot they're very very warm to I mean maybe I should do a three looks one palette with this one this one is so much fun oh my goodness i have not touched this one not swatched this one this one obviously did the first look but i will show you the swatches for both of them um yeah i just i don't know i just had to i had to get them <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play around with both of them and do I try to do a cohesive look i was gonna do a palette bingo but then i i just wanted to be more in control i didn't want just random shades to be uh picked so we're gonna go in with the pale shade here just to set my eyes and then uh, maybe one other shade from this one, which I know is the newest palette, but I might just play with the Gal on Venus. I'm not entirely sure. I have the Gal on Jupiter, but um, yeah, I wasn't going to get the Gal on Venus. There's also a Gal on Mars as well. Uh, and they were all, I think they were all released in December. Really fun palettes. I don't know. I tell you what, Gloss Gods is definitely up there in terms of one of my favorite brands or just a brand where I'm very interested to see what they release which is why I was able to see these you know and they're on my radar and I you know it's just it is what it is all right so they actually do have a, a lighter shade in here I think uh maybe instead though I'm gonna go into this deep brown which is called astronaut aura I'm having I'm, I I feel like I'm I'm wanting to do something a kind of I don't know I definitely feel like I need to try to go into that yellow and there's also an orange in here and a red I don't think I'm going to the red but let's just try to uh, let's try to do something fun. All right, I'm gonna go into this shade and just blend it into this one just so it looks a little bit neater. This one is called Venus Veil. Yeah, just gonna fix these edges a little bit. Definitely prefer Gloss God's 
formula in terms of their shimmer versus their matte. I did find when I went into this palette, when I was thinking of doing a three looks one palette with this, so that first look, I went into this shade and I went into, yeah, birthday suit and also sunburned and undressed. I went into all the mattes, actually even this one, and I just felt like the mattes were quite lackluster. This is just such a gorgeous shade. It's like, it has a flip of orange. I don't know if you're going to see it, but it was so bright. It's very much, it's not a glitter, but it's very chunky. It's a chunky shade, um, very beautiful. I also went into Sun Kiss Me and uh, nude apps. You can see I went into a lot of shades in that first look so I was thinking well, what am I going to do in the second look which obviously I could work on these two which I might do today just to have a little bit more of a play around with it but yeah there obviously there are shades in here I want to touch too so I have to try to figure out what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll put that yellow in my inner corner. It is more of a shimmer though or a satin. I don't know. There's just too much choice. I think that's the problem. I, I'm finding that there's just too much choice <laughs> And honestly, when you look at this palette, you think this is not a palette for me. Oh my god, this is a flip of green in this one. This is a re this is a red with a green. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's just so confusing. You never know what you're going to put on the lid. I think I'm going to go into Not So Nude, which is this one, and just have a look and see what it's like. Because I have not... Oh my god. Oh my goodness purple with a green oh my gosh this is just oh my goodness oh my gosh why didn't I go into this shade oh that is so pretty it's uh, I know I showed you the swatches of these already but I haven't swatched them all yet so I'm going into it blind I probably should have swatched them and then I would have known where to go with my look. Oh my goodness. Let's zoom you in. Let's zoom you in. Do you see this beautiful, beautiful? Oh, it's just so beautiful. I don't know why I like these shimmers. I know a lot of people don't like flippy shades, um, but I do, so. All right, I definitely wanna go into a space walk, which is in this palette. And just have a look. This is a, oh my gosh, this is a little bit more flaky. And I think this will give the pop that I'm looking for. God, this is just fun. This is a fun. Oh my goodness. This is fun makeup. Do you not agree? Oh my gosh. This is full on metallic. Like the other one was beautiful and duochrome but this one's just full on metallic. And so opaque. Wow. And I just went in the once, and that's all I've needed for both eyes. I probably should use a brush for these because they are very messy, but I haven't. So we'll just we'll just do what we're doing. Oh, that's so much fun! It's almost made the other one though not as interesting, which is a shame because the other one was very pretty. All right, let's do an underneath. I don't usually do under under the lids, but I think for this look, I want to do a little bit extra. So we're going to go into the orange, which is called a Mercury 13, and we're just going to brighten the under eye. Okay, so with a brush, I'm going to go into Hidden Figure Hues, and I'm going to do that underneath right here. Yeah, this one, you can definitely pair it with that yellow in the palette because it's got a lot of yellow to it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the yellow so I'm gonna put this in my inner corner and we're gonna see how it performs <laughs> whoa wow that is a very very bright I feel like you could do a lot of looks with this one. Maybe I should do three looks, one palette with this one because I'm already seeing so much more I could do. I do feel like the Let's Get Nude is just a little bit too bland, even though this was very beautiful. And I didn't show you the shade in this video, but you can see that is that gorgeous metallic shade that 
Uh, it's very similar to this other one. I'll just put it right in the center here. So it, there's like a little pop, but you can see it is so, so bold. So many colors on my eyes and there's so much left on. It's such, it's, I mean, their shades. I don't know why people sleep on this. <laughs> why people sleep on this because their shades are so pretty they're so pretty i'm gonna deepen out a little bit over here so we'll go in to dare to bear i'm not sure if you can get this bundle anymore but i do think you can get this new palette still but i was able to get both of these in a little bundle that's why i ended up getting both all right, so I'm looking a little bit pale. I'm gonna put a little bit more makeup on, uh, put my mascara on, and I'll come back and we'll talk about the look and the palettes. All right, so here is the final look. I just did a little, my little beauty spots, and um, I went with a nude lip because my eyes are pretty bright. So um, I don't know, I mean, I could have done a bright lip, but wow, this is beautiful. Okay, so kind of hard to judge both of these palettes. I mean, I do feel like I used a little bit more of this palette, which um, is not the reason I actually bought this palette, this bundle, I bought the bundle for this one, but I think this one is just so much fun. And, but also there's some beautiful shades in here, like that first one that I swatched and put on my lids, which was called Not So Nude. It just looks like a purple, but it has obviously that flip of sort of greeny, sort of greeny-esque, I don't know, purple. Um, we did kind of lose it when I went in to the shade from Galon Venus, which was called Spacewalk, which is uh, amazing. <laughs> but this one, so this is very um, metallic, but also chunky. And it's the same type of chunky shade that this one Golden Hour has, which I put on last, like right on the middle there. So there's definitely unique shades in both of these palettes. Um, I I have to play around with both of them personally to really get a feeling of how um, I feel about them. I will say when I use this for the other look, I don't want to go on this video and talk about a different look, but I'll, you know, I, I've shown you what it looked like. I was uh, a little less than impressed, but I feel like today just matching it, maybe this is more of a companion palette for me because I do feel like a lot of the um, lighter mattes are just simply too light but the shimmer is beautiful I think this one is just so much fun and yes I could have done just one look with this or several looks with this I do actually see several looks that I could do with this I feel like I have a little bit more variety to play around with and it's just a little bit more fun so surprising to me because it's very warm tone and I generally avoid such bright orange eyeshadow I really do which is why I didn't want to buy it but they were in the bundle and I was like, okay, fine. So final verdict, I like them. I do think this one is not a standout for me just based on other Gloss God palettes that I own, but I don't dislike it. I just need to play around with it a little bit more. I haven't used all the shades. This one definitely surprised me. A lot of fun and I think I'm gonna have so much fun with this one. So actually between the two of them, I feel like I've enjoyed this one a little bit more, but the look itself is gorgeous, so. I'm not complaining. Anyway, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to really, really try in June not to buy any more makeup because I bought so much makeup recently. And I know I keep saying, well, I'm not on a no buy. I'm not on a low buy. But I think, um, I feel content now. I think I've bought enough. I feel content. I think I'm gonna stay low for a while. I'm gonna try to at least. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.